Gents and ladies, welcome to another video, of course. On a previous video, we had a high voltage pulse transformer that come out of a laser, and I wondered whether it actually ignites a 30,000 watt light bulb. We need 50,000 volts to actually get this short arc xenon lamp going. Let's see what happened. <laughs> so to make our high voltage pulse, I'm going to use this mains transformer, 240 in, 3700 AC out, and this come out of an insect killer. I'm going to then put the AC through these diodes into these microwave capacitors which will be in series. Then we'll have some pulse DC coming out of these capacitors into that pulse transformer. Because of the turns ratio on that pulse transformer, there should be quite a few thousand volts coming out. Probably a few too many thousand volts. However, using this 60 volt supply which is inside this torch, we should be able to get that xenon lamp to fire up. And this 2.1 kilowatt lamp will be in series with that xenon lamp. Hopefully, we'll get a few pulses and we'll get a sustained arc. So let's have this apart all over the floor and see what happens. I am deliberately leaving the protective jacket on the lamp because it's going to be for a very short duration at very low power, probably not even a thousand watts. So let's have a go. In front of us you can see unfortunately I popped that pulse transformer which came out of that laser. I was using it to ignite the xenon lamp um, but unfortunately I've popped it. I put a little bit too much on the primary. This was the primary. That's all it was. One turn and the secondary is there. I've taken it apart so I can see how many turns there is on that secondary. It's actually a 70 to 1 ratio. You can see the high current passes through there. And if we pass a few thousand volts through there, obviously we've overdone it and the insulation is somewhat destroyed. But hey ho, I've ordered a proper xenon igniter. Um, quite expensive. This thing worked, it proved the lamp actually strikes up and it actually works. But the insulation which went round those uh, copper secondaries is all there. And you wouldn't think all of that lot come out of that tiny transformer. So now you can see it. All that copper. That is the secondary. This wire obviously was attached in there. Um, so that whole thing there can probably take uh, Oh, a good 35 to 50 amps, I would think. And that's how that trigger transformer works, simply by dumping a pulse through this tiny turn, and that induces an enormous spike on that secondary. But it is no more. But we will have the proper igniter to do the job. It's just sad that that nice little transformer popped. 
but at least we've seen what's inside it. So it's quite a job smashing that open because it's all potted in this stuff. There you are. I tried to make our own pulse transformer, but unfortunately every single time the insulation got punctured. So it wasn't having it. And if you wondered what was inside one of these large toroidal transformers, there you can see one very large roll of sheet steel. Um, quite a handy bit of metal to use. I don't know what for, but it's too nice to chuck. So I shall keep that. Maybe we'll make it glow. So that's what's inside toroidals. Here we have a short arc xenon igniter that I purchased on eBay. This should be a lot less bother. Hopefully this will work. It goes up to 40 kV. Really we need 50 kV but we can push it a bit more. Running current 160 amps but once the lamp's actually ignited we can bypass this and it won't be required. It made it the other side of the planet with just minor damage. Why people don't pack things properly I don't know. But hopefully this will still work. Big thanks to IREM based in Italy, they provided me with this technical drawing and it actually says on this drawing you can put the negative or the positive through the igniter to have your high voltage output. But lamp manufacturers actually prefer to put the negative in here and have the high voltage come out into the negative rather than the positive. So the drawing would actually be this one. As you can see, the negative comes out with the high voltage on the ignition unit. The positive goes straight to the lamp. Easy. All we need now, of course, is a little bit of DC, a few amps, and then I think we can test it with a little bit more grunt. Thanks for watching the videos. I hope you found that one interesting. Good news is for you, there's another video immediately after this one where you get to see this 4000 watt Xenon on full power and sun. And I can say the light from that is pretty amazing. Also, prepare yourself for a moment of sadness because this 30,000 watt lamp gets busted because photonic induction pumped it up far too much and it didn't want to call it but it was pretty bright so <laughs> if you want to see that one stay tuned and uh, we'll have some fun cheers guys